Hi guys, welcome to lab 4 of the Arduino series where we will discuss the operation of the character LCD and a very basic example using it. So as I had discussed in the theory lecture, a character LCD has 16 columns 0 to 15 and 2 rows 0 and 1 and it has 16 pins we had discussed that the first three pins were the power pins then you had the control pins then the data pins so we had control we had data and then we had the backlight we had also discussed that there are eight data pins you have the control pins, namely the RS register select, you have the RW, you have the enable. So if you have forgotten this lecture, then I would recommend looking at the LCD ex uh, lecture again and understand the theory behind the LCD example. So let's understand the programming of the LCD. Our aim of this lab will be to display the hello world message on the LCD. Now in Arduino, the LCD example requires that you call a header file, a header.h file Hence, first, your first instruction would be to write this, that is hash include, this means hash, hash include liquidcrystal.h and this calls on the LCD library. So there is a built-in LCD library that has functions that you can use the LCD with, okay? Then you would use the keyword which is liquid crystal which is part of this lcd.h or the liquid crystal.h header file and define your lcd variable which is lcd this is your variable and you will define the arduino pins that will be part of the LCD. So this is your key term that is liquid crystal. Then you would have your variable name and then these are the pin names or the pin numbers which are in this order that your register will be pin number 12 your enable will be pin number 11 in this order your data 1 will be pin number 10 and so on this will be pin number d4 please understand we are using the LCD in the 4-bit mode you must be asking that where is the read write pin here since we are only writing to the LCD my read write pin is always tied to zero that is ground because we are always writing okay your register is basically your rs okay that's it let's continue with the program first is my setup so I need to specify the number of columns and rows in my LCD. So first I will say LCD which is your variable. So LCD dot begin. Now this dot begin is a function that is a part of this header file. So whenever I say the variable dot begin which is of the type liquid crystal 
so the variable is of the type liquid crystal when I say that variable dot begin that means I am initializing my LCD variable so LCD dot begin then the number of columns and rows so I have 16 rows and two columns I'm sorry 16 columns and two rows and then I will clear the LCD by using the function LCD dot clear again the dot clear is a part of this header file and then I have my loop where I use the function dot print so dot print is a function that will help me display a value and then I have the one second delay then I clear the LCD then I again have a 500 millisecond or half a second delay and so basically I'll have the message it will disappear again I'll have the message and so on so it's a fairly simple program where I first initialize my LCD variable I specify the number of rows and columns I clear the LCD then I print my message and then I use a delay I clear the LCD and I use a delay again all right as a part of a future lab you will see how to use the LCD and interface with other inputs so your teaching assistant will show you how to implement this lab as part of the practical session I shall see you in the next lecture thank you very much